when I'm in school and looking at all the other kids, I feel like I've lived longer than them and seen things that they haven't even thought of. Elsie is a unique individual. She is her and she is nobody else. Elsie was five years old when she was first diagnosed and she had some flu-like symptoms. I remember just feeling like very sick and not wanting to do much. By the time that they moved us into this trauma room, and that's when I think Kevin was like, yeah, something bigger is going on. And that's when they, they broke the news that she has leukemia. We learned it was AML about two weeks after diagnosis. The doctor told us she would end up needing a transplant to survive. She had about three to four rounds of just chemo where we were um, inpatient for about 30 days or so. And then by March, we were looking at her first stem cell transplant. Eli was born about a month after she was diagnosed. They ended up using his core blood for her first stem cell transplant. Besides doctor's appointments, it was a normal life for us. And then that's when she had relapsed. And then that's when we headed out to Seattle. And we got on a more of a targeted drug therapy. We got another good year through that. And then all of a sudden she had relapsed again. So that's when we knew we had to do something a little bit more intense. And that's what brought us to St. Louis Children's. That's when we met Dr. Benarski. And we were enrolled into the NK cell trial. The concept behind it was to use this newly identified type of NK cell called a memory-like NK cell uh, to try and treat AML in pediatric patients. And this was built out of research that was done here at WashU. And we sort of jumped on that bandwagon and said, let's see, can we, if this works in adults, can we now take it to pediatric patients? And, use it there. NK cells, or natural killer cells, are uniquely reactive against a particular type of leukemia called AML. But in this case, the idea was to, can we harness that activity to make an entirely immune-based therapy for treating this leukemia? I first met Elsie in 2019. And she had a really good response, actually. She achieved a remission. She has the uh, energy, the determination, and the will to uh, fight on and keep fighting. There's one thing about AML. Um, there's not a lot of trials. There's not a lot of new novel therapies coming out. So when Dr. Benarski came, that was like, oh goodness, this is great. This is awesome. I was in remission for a bit, and then my cancer came back. I went through a second transplant. That one was a little tougher. It's incredibly difficult to go through one transplant. Then her disease came back again, and she went on to a third stem cell transplant, and that one was from her father that time. The third transplant was definitely the hardest with all of the side effects she has now. GI issues, she has cataracts months in the ICU, renal failure, so she's on dialysis now. That's a lot. We don't do a lot of third transplants. So right now, Elsie is in complete remission from her AML. I still have a long ways to go, but I'm feeling much better than I was a year ago. When she has that two-year mark, she'll be able to get her kidney transplant and hopefully be done with dialysis. I've been with Pedal Cause since my NK trial. It's pretty cool. It's inspiring to see everybody out there and it's like they got your back because they're all out there trying to make research for cancer and it's amazing. This work doesn't happen without donations. I wouldn't be sitting here without help from Pedal Cause. I want Elsie to be happy, to live a long, prosperous life. We are just continuously blessed by Pedal the Cause. You may not know the impact that you have. 
but you're doing amazing work. Donating to Pedal the Cause, supporting the work that's being done by Siteman Cancer Center and Siteman Kids is making a difference. Thank you.